Welcome, Dixie D'Amelio. Not only you're getting harassed by the paparazzi on the red carpet, but you're also getting harassed by your own fans after you were seen with your ex, Griffin Johnson, at a party, girl. You know you messed up real bad. Aside from Dixie receiving hate for her actions, Mads Lewis also decided to join the chat this week after she was caught allegedly flirting with Bryce Hall. And guys, even Addison Rae is now getting bullied by her fans for dating her boyfriend Omer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with Dixie D'Amelio. It has low-key been a while since we've mentioned Dixie D'Amelio on my channel because aside from all the drama she got involved in last year, Dixie decided to take a step back from all the toxic friendships and relationships she had in the past and focus on her current relationship with Noah Beck just to avoid any sort of drama. And to be honest, this was the best decision Dixie has ever made because she even made sure that her relationship with Noah Beck will stay private no matter how the internet tries to break them apart. It was just surprising for people that Dixie cared about her relationship more than anything else since, well, she stopped posting her regular content with Noah Beck just to avoid people being in her business when she knew for a fact that both of their content were given them clout. Although, this did not stop the social media world to invade her privacy and harass her on live television after she recently went to the Super Bowl party with Noah and her sister Charlie, and then this happened. This video right here, you guys, gained over 6 million views on TikTok in less than 24 hours. After so many people started expressing how disgusting it was for the paparazzi to harass Dixie in front of everyone and force her to look at their camera. It's insane to me that the paparazzi can harass people in public with no consequences. Their jobs are to capture the moment, not force it in. This low-key brought tears to my eyes. Dixie wasn't built for fame, LMAO. After this, you guys, things started going downhill for Dixie because as soon as she got harassed by the paparazzi on the red carpet, Dixie immediately entered the Super Bowl party without letting the situation get into her head. <laughs> people noticed Dixie was straight up hanging out with her ex, Griffin Johnson, at the entire party instead of her boyfriend, Noah. And at one point, Griffin had his arm around Dixie during the party and they both were extra close. It must have been disrespectful for Noah to witness his girlfriend hanging out with Griffin throughout the entire party instead of him. And the crazy part about this is that the rumors about Dixie allegedly dating Griffin immediately escalated on the internet after tons of people started assuming that Dixie and Noah are no longer together. Until Noah went on Twitter to clear up the situation by telling his own fan base to stop faking rumors and jumping to conclusions. You know I love you guys more than anything, but let's stop jumping into conclusions, okay? it's not unfair to anyone. Not a second after Noah made this tweet, Dixie's best friend, Markwell Washington, went on TikTok to address the situation himself by claiming that Dixie didn't come near Griffin at all, but instead, they were both together the entire time and they only spoke to Griffin for a couple of seconds only. Point blank period. Y'all should know better than to come on now. Don't be messy, especially when Markwell's in the building. Anyways, y'all, let's move on to Mads Lewis, who apparently got dragged by the internet and her ex-boyfriend for allegedly dating Bryce Hall. Isn't it kind of funny how rumors could literally turn the entire internet against you without having any proof whether these rumors are true or not? That's literally what's happened with Mads Lewis this week after she got dragged for allegedly dating Bryce Hall. Now, as we currently know, Mads' ex-boyfriend Christian recently got exposed for going to Jaden Hustler's birthday party immediately after he broke up with his girlfriend, Mads Lewis. And despite how Christian received a massive amount of hate for not respecting Mads, at all, she personally didn't really make any comment towards the situation whatsoever. <laughs> Christian went on Twitter to shade Mads for no reason after he made a tweet saying this, you can't love someone who doesn't love themselves. This simple tweet from Christian caused chaos on social media since people didn't expect him to have the audacity to shade Mads on Twitter when he hung out with the one person that hurt her the most. And guys, as soon as Christian started receiving hate for his tweet, he went on Instagram to annoy more people by following Jaden Hustler Instagram account as an act of revenge for both Mads and the internet. Shortly after he followed Jaden, Christian went on his Instagram stories to clear up the situation by saying that his shady tweets aren't subliminal messages towards anyone and he only tweets a bunch of quotes just to help his fans. I don't tweet subliminal messages at anyone. My tweets are mainly quotes that I've learned over the years that I think can help people who follow me. For the supporters who like to hate on what I tweet, why don't we focus on supporting and not hating? Spread 
love, not hate. Life is way too short to use our energy trying to bring others down instead of bringing ourselves up. I appreciate all those who support me and all those who support anyone in general. There is no cryptic message in anything I do. I've chosen to use my platform to tweet things in an attempt to educate, help, or keep up with my audience. Again, I wish everyone the absolute best, happiest, and healthiest of wishes. While many people didn't believe a word Christian was saying, he then went on a rant to his Instagram stories to address all the hate being thrown at him by saying this. I've allowed a lot of hate rumors and bullshit to surface around my name these past few weeks while I've been trying to focus on being my absolute best self. I'm not one to let anybody's opinion or false interpretation mess with my mental state, but the amount of hate or false interpretations of seen of my own private life is beyond repulsive. For those who are deciding to hate or waste their time creating a false narrative, please use your talent, time, energy, and effort in better ways. There is so much positivity to be spread. Again, I haven't given any update or spoken about any of the drama, and honestly, I don't plan to. Nobody out there knows the truth. Please either keep your opinion to yourself or support those who need it. All these messages Christian was putting out didn't help him at all. Since tons of people were extremely upset about how he disrespected his relationship with Mads by going to Jaden's party until Mads decided to take revenge on Christian by going out in public with Bryce Hall after a paparazzi posted this picture of Mads and Bryce announcing that they're officially a couple now in the caption. New couple alert? Bryce Hall and Mads Lewis were seen flirting outside Dog Pound after working out together. OMFG. After the paparazzi set Mads up and exposed her for dating Bryce Hall, she immediately went into the comments to drag the paparazzi for spreading fake rumors about her by confirming that she and Bryce are not dating. Wow, since I didn't want to take pictures with you after working out, this is the caption, so false. LOL, I never asked to take pictures with you and it's just a joke, LOL. This situation made Mads really upset for a couple of reasons. After she went on live to talk about how she doesn't have a Valentine and how she doesn't care at all. Do you have a Valentine? Okay. With that being said, you guys, here's what people had to say about Mads having no Valentine and confirming her breakup with Christian. No, because being out of a relationship could actually be really good for her. Hope she focuses on herself. Good for her. I think time alone will be beneficial. I feel like she has the opportunity to focus on herself now, too. Anyways, y'all, let's end today's video with Addison Rae getting bullied for being with her boyfriend, Omer. Ever since Addison accidentally posted a picture of herself being naked with her boyfriend, people have been blaming Omer for being responsible for posting that picture of Addison. Since they believed that he wanted to cause controversy about him and Addison just to gain fame and attention on the internet. And despite how Addison confirmed multiple times that she was the one who posted the picture, a lot of people didn't really believe her for that because she seemed to be defending Omer when she knew for a fact that no one on the internet likes him at all. This situation made tons of people throw hate at Omer under his recent Instagram pictures. And guys, the situation even escalated quickly to the point where people People started bullying Omer under a video of him and Addison taking care of him. I thought it was someone giving a homeless person a haircut. Love really is blind. I love them, but I would fully need to hand sanitize three times after rubbing my hands through that mane. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And guys, this situation made Addison involve herself in the conversation after she went under the comment section of the video to respond to comments and drag haters. Some of these comments are so lame. Go outside. Addison doing charity, she's so sweet. You are so lame. Anyways, loves, make sure to click on the tab above if you need more juicy videos on these TikTokers.